Well, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It's wonderful to be with everyone this morning, and I want to offer a special welcome to everyone who's joining us here in our sanctuary, as well as those who are joining us on Facebook and YouTube and on TILB.org, where we have a a higher quality live stream. Um, I mentioned the live stream specifically also because when we get to the end of our service, you'll be able to offer the names of those that you're thinking of in the chat at TILB.org. Um, if you're joining us online, uh, go ahead and hop into the chat and offer one another a Shabbat Shalom as we begin this morning together. Now, this particular week, we read the Torah portion, Yitro. Now, there are a number of different things that happen in this Torah portion, a myriad of different places of inspiration that have brought our community to wonder about this space in our text. And one thing after the other has brought with it an inspiration and tradition of reading this particular story. And this week, again, we open that very same text described in this week's Torah portion. The text that's brought to us in this community and that's revealed not just in the words that we will read today that David will bring to life for us, both in his literal reading and his interpretation of the words, but brought to life by our surrounding our lives around this text. Each and every week, an opportunity to open up these words and find new meaning in them. Well, I want to offer that welcome again to each of us, a Shabbat Shalom, and as we go through our service, you'll hear the words not only mazel tov, meaning congratulations, but we as a community have decided that when we are together for a service such as this, that we want to offer a congratulations to one another also by saying the words yasher koach. So I want to invite us to say those words together. Yasher koach. Yasher koach. Excellent. It's almost like you guys know those words. <laughs> we want to invite us to use these words instead of, uh, instead of applauding um, as this service this morning uh, is Uh, meant to be not a performance for us. We are all together in this experience, and so instead of applauding like we might in a performance, we offer the words, Yashar Kalach. Um, I want to say a special welcome this morning and a special good morning uh, to David York, uh, our piano player, our accompanist. Um, David, it's always a pleasure to share a morning with you, and it is always a pleasure to lead together with you. David, good morning. I want to offer a a little bit of housekeeping as well about uh, our morning together. Uh, And so first and foremost, um, if you brought a cell phone with you this morning, um, I want to invite us to place our cell phones on silent, or I'm actually going to completely turn my phone off this morning, um, and that'll give me a chance to be uh, in our service without that particular distraction. So again, an invitation for those of us who who brought our cell phones, um, I think 20 years ago, we might have said, or anyone who might have, um, today I think we will say, for all of us who have our cell phones, um, just to offer it on silence. Um, and a note as well about photography, and um, we're going to ask that those of us who are uh, in our service not, uh, not take photos, we have a professional photographer here, Scott, who is going to be uh, capturing this service this morning in such a way that preserves the sanctity of our service as well. Um, Additionally, as we continue to be committed to our community safety, a note about the exits of our sanctuary. Know that we have a very robust uh, security uh, system uh, at Temple, but as a part of that, I want to share that our exits uh, are to the, uh, to the back of our sanctuary here and here uh, as well as over here. These two exits will lead directly outside, and perhaps most importantly uh, as well, um, these two exits lead directly to the restrooms. Right? So... Uh, a note about our sanctuary this morning. Additionally, all of us pray in different ways, and I mean it that any of us are allowed to be here in this space. But for some of us who might have uh, younger kids and who feel the need to be in another space, um, we have a life cycle room over here where uh, you can hear the service, you can be a part of our service, and you can sing to your heart's content. Uh, A note as well about our prayer book. So I invite us to take our prayer book out from the seat back in front of us um, and to take a look at what is set in our prayer book. Now you'll note 
that on the right-hand side of each page is the Hebrew, the traditional text that we'll be reading together, and transliteration for that same text as well. Um, underneath it is the translation of those words, what those words mean. Um, and this text, this book, was designed with each of our hearts and minds in mind. And so if and as our hearts wander this morning, it might be the case that not every single word or prayer in each prayer speaks to us in that moment. And so there are other readings, interpretive poems and uh, commentary on the bottom of the page. I invite us to let our eyes wander around the page and let each of us find our way into prayer as we need it this morning. Now, we begin this morning with words of gratitude, turning to one another and saying, this space is different because we are here with each other, creating a sanctuary with our voices, our presence. And so I invite us to turn to page 74 and let's sing together the words of Ma Tovu. Ma Tovu Oh Halecha Ya To begin leading us in our service, I'd like to call up David, as well as his grandparents, Debbie and Mike, to present his talit to him this morning. Baruch Ata Adonai El Hainu Melecholom Asher Kichanu Bemitzvotav Lehita Tev Batsitsi. I hereby accept the obligation of fulfilling these mitzvot as commanded in our Torah. You shall be holy, for I, your God, am holy. You shall not render an unjust decision, leave something of what you possess to the poor, do not hate your fellow human being, judge your neighbor fairly, do not stand idly by the blood of your neighbor, do not gossip or spread rumors, do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Love your neighbors as yourself. I am Adonai, your God. 
Please continue with the Baruch Hu, your call to prayer, our call to prayer. I will lead the congregation by singing the first line and bowing. The congregation will sing the second line and bow with me. Page 108, please rise in body and in spirit. Continue with the Yotzer or our affirmation that this world is always in the act of creation. We give thanks that light is restored to the earth daily. Please turn to page 110. Baruch Ata Adonai Elheinu Melech Haolam Yotzer or Uvere Choshech Osei Shalom Uvere Et Hako. Hameir la art vladarim alecha barachamid. Uvzuvo mechadesh beho yon tamid. Maase bere sheet. Ma rabu maasecha adonai. Hulam bechokma asita mala haaretz kinyanecha. Tit barach adonai elohenu. All shevach maase yadecha. Ve all maore or shasita. Yefarucha Sela Or Hadash Altsion Tair Veniske Hulanu Mehera Leoro Baruch Ata Adonai Yotzer Hameorot. As we continue with an English reading found on the opposite page, we'd like to call up David's grandparents, Jim and Carrie. You are praised who rolls out the rough, raw clay of the universe into delicate vessels of light, and from nothing at all we could perceive in a world that has turned old a shimmering new creation right before our eyes made this moment just for us. How much of life reveals your presence, how much Torah unfolds from each new flower, from each new wave that breaks upon the sea. You are praised who forms from the clay that cloaks our lives the delicate vessels which contain our light. Adonai's love for us, love for us, our desire to study Torah and to fulfill mitzvot is the sin um, for off of Ahav Arubah. Please turn to page 112. Ahav Arubah, Ahav Tanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Chema Gidola, Vitera Chamata Alenu, Ba'avor Avatena Ve'ima Tenu, Shabas Hu Becha Vatlandem, Huki Hayim Kim Tachonenu Vatlandenu. The ha erene nu ve Torah techa ve da ve chlebe yu ve mitzvot techa ve yacher levav ve nu 
The Shema, one of our oldest prayers, is our declaration of faith. In this declaration, we are pronouncing that all humanity is one, bound by our joys and our sufferings. We will continue with the Shema on page 114. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Mahuto Leolam Vain Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Mahuto Leolam Vain seated. Ve'ahavta eit Adonai Eloecha bechol avavcha uvechol nashecha uvechol meodecha ve'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher onochim et savecha hayom olivavecha Veshina tam levanecha, vedi bartam bam, bishiv techa bave techa, uvlet techa ba derech, uv shoch brecha, uv kumecha, uv shar tam le oat, aya deha, veha you little tough oat, bain a necha, uch tak tam. Am as zot be techa uvi sharecha. Vlaman tiskeru vasitem, as called in this time, vi tem kerushim lelechem. Ani adonai elochem. Asher hot seit yetem. Me erets me trim. Lihios lahem lelechim. Ani Adonai Eloheim. In the Micha Mocha, we sing the joy song of freedom that the Israelites sang as they crossed the Red Sea. We continue with Tzur Yisrael pleading for this act of redemption to be repeated. Please join me on page 122, 120, 122 for Micha Mocha.
שבעה חרשה שמחו גאולים לשמחה אוספת הים יחד כולם הודו והמלכו ואמרו אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועם צור ישראל, קומה בעזרת ישראל, ובדי חינומך יהודה וישראל, גו עלינו אדוני צבאות שמו. קדוש ישראל, ברוך אתה אדוני גאל ישראל. We have entered into the part of our service where we ask that our prayers be accepted. The Amidah, which literally means standing, this is the peak of our service where we offer our private prayers. Please join me on page 124 and rise in body or in spirit. Adonai sefat harf titach ufiya gitehilatecha Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Belhe avateinu v'imoteinu, Elohe avracham, Elohe yitzak, Velhe We continue with the Kedusha on page 130. Let us sanctify your name on earth as it is sanctified in the heavens above. As it is written by our prophet, Holy, holy, holy is Adonai Tzavaot. God's presence filled the whole earth. Nekadesh et shimcha ba'olam 
Keshem shmak dishim, o tobish me marom, kaka tu vaya neviecha, zekara zeve amar, kadosh, 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 al night sevaot, melo. Adonai Adonainu Badir Shimcha Becho Haaretz Bruch Kavod Adonai Mim Komo Echad Hu Eloheinu Hu Avinu Hu Malkeinu Please be seated. We are gifts and we are blessings. We are history in song. We are hope and we are healing. We are learning to be strong. We are words and we are stories. We are pictures of the past. We are carriers of wisdom, not the first and not the last. Lidor vador nagi. Dorvador, we protect this chain from generation to generation. Dorvador, these lips will praise your name. Looking back on the journey that we carry in our hearts. From the shadow of the mountain to the waters that would part. We are blessed and we are holy. We are children of your way. And the words that bring us meaning, we will have the strength to say Lador Vador Nagi God Lecha Lador Vador we protect this chain from generation to generation Lador Vador these lips will praise your name The Vishamu is in the middle of the seven blessings of Shabbat, Amidah. It asserts that we will keep Shabbat as a sign of our covenant. <coughs> our custom here is to raise our hands into the air and lift up off our seats when we sing the word et. Um, 
Please join me in the fun with Visharma on page 132. Vishamru Bene Israel Et Hashabat Lazot Et Hashabat Ledorot Amerit Olam Vishamru Bene Israel Et Hashabat Lazot Et Hashabat Ledorot Amerit Beni uvein b'nei Yisrael, ot hi le'olam, ot hi le'olam, ot hi le'olam. V'shamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat, la'asot et ha-shabbat, l'dorot ha-merit olam. Ki sheshet yamim, asa Adonai, asa Adonai, et hashamayim, ve et haaret, vishamru, vene Yisrael, et hashabat, la'asot, et hashabat, lidorot amberito. Yom Hashvi Shavat Vayinafash Shavat Vayinafash Shavat Vayinafash Vishamru Venei Yisrael Et Hashavat Lazot Et Hashavat Medor Tamberi Please turn to page 137 for say our plea to Adonai to accept our prayers. Ritzay Adonai Aloheinu Be'amcha Yisrael Utfila Tom Be'ezbehera Tigabel Uthil Ratzon Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amcha Baruch Ata Adonai Shotcha Levadcha Beira Naavod. Please turn to page 138 for our Huda prayer where we express our gratitude for all the blessings in our lives. Modim Anachnu Lach Shaata Hu Adonai Elhenu Elohe Avotenu Vimotenu. Le Olam Vaed Vsarienu Magain Yishonu Atahu Ledorvador Baruch Ata Adonai Hato Shimcha Ucha Nae Lehodot. In the final blessing of the Amidah, we pray for peace not only for the Jewish community but for the world. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace and give us the will to share its message to all the peoples of earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace to advocate among the nations. May contentment fall within our borders, health and happiness within our homes, strengthen the bonds of friendships and fellowships among all inhabitants of the world. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name sanctify every home and every heart. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamverach et Amo Yisrael Bashalom.
please continue silently with either the readings that you find in your siddur or just whatever prayer you have in your own heart. We'll gather together in a few moments with the song. We continue our service now with Seder Kriyata Torah, the service for taking out and reading from our Torah. And so as we pass the Torah from, uh, from David's parents to him, I'd like to call up Sarah and Tim and David to join us on the bima. The rest of the congregation I'd like to invite to please rise in body or in spirit. <laughs> Malchutecha, malchut kololanim, umem shaltecha bechodor vador. Adonai melech, Adonai malach, Adonai himloch leolam vod. Adonai oz leamu yitain, Adonai yevare. Oh, 
God lu la do nai e ti un rome ma shemo yachta le ha adonai ha gedu la le ha gevu ra ve ha ti feret ve ha netzach ve ha hod ki chol va shamai muvaretz ki chol va shamai muvaretz Varetz lecha Adonai hamam lacha vehamid nasei lechol rosh al shlosha devarim al shlosha devarim al shlosha shlosha devarim. Ha'olam Omer Al Shlosha Devarim Al Shlosha Devarim Al Shlosha Shlosha Devarim Ha'olam Ha'olam Omer Al HaTorah Ve'al HaAvodah Ve'al Gimelut Chasadim Al HaTorah Ve al haavoda, ve al gemelut chasadim, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha shlosha devarim, haolam haolam omer, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim. Al shlosha devarim, sorry. Al shlosha, shlosha devarim, haolam, haolam, omid. Please be seated. So I want to make a note about this particular Torah as David finds his place in it. This Torah comes to us from the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary was constructed at a time when members of our worldwide community were moving from one place to another, looking for a space that could be called home. Now, there's a lot of discussion about exactly how that particular sanctuary was built on the Queen Mary at that time as Jews as today and as then were not a large part of the world population. But the architects of the Queen Mary wanted to make a statement. They happened to be building the Ark and that section shortly after the time of the Second World War. And in that moment, they wanted to make a note saying that each and every person in our world has a place of refuge and specifically might find that home in the United States. And as a symbol of that hope, they built this sanctuary and housed this Torah in it. This very same scroll David will be reading from this morning. We'd like to call up members of David's circle to honor the different sections of this Torah reading. And so for our first Aliyah, I'd like to call up 
Uh, Mark Feeler and James Redondo, uh, David's grandparents. Nala amod hasabaim aliyah Torah. Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vaed. 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 Baruch Adonai Hamborach Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Hine Anochi Ba Elecha Be'av He'anan Bavur Yishma Ha'am Be'dabri Imach וגם בך יאמינו לעולם. ויגד משה את דברי העם אל אדוני. ויאמר אדוני אל משה לך אל העם. וקידשתם היום ומחר וחיפשו שמלותם. והיו נכונים ליום השישי, כי ביום השישי ירד ארנאי לעיני כל העם על הר סיני. We continue with the English translation of that same reading. And, and the Eternal One said to Moses, I will come to you in a thick cloud in order that the people may hear when I speak with you and so trust you even after. Then Moses reports, reported the people's words to the Eternal and the Eternal said to Moses, go to the people, warn them to stay pure today and tomorrow. Let them wash their clothes, let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Eternal will come down in sight of all the people on Mount Sinai. We continue with the blessing after the Torah reading. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Omet Bahaye Olam Ata Betachinu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen. For our second Aliyah, we call up David's grandmothers, Deborah Feeler and Carrie Redondo. Nala Amod Hasab Tot Aliyah Torah. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim. Menatam Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vehiwata Et Ha'am Saviv Lemur. He shall alot bachar un goa bekat sehu kohanogel bachar mot yumat loti gabo yat kisako yisakel o yaro yare im bechema im ish lo yhe. Bim shoch hayovel hema yalu vachar. Vaye red moshe min hahar el ha'am. Vaye kadish et ha'am. Vaye chabsu simlotam. 
You shall set bounds for the people round about, saying, Beware going up the mountain or touching the border of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall be put to death. Without being touched by being either stoned or shot, beast or person, a trespasser shall not live. When the ram's horn sound a long blast, you may go up on the mountain. Moses, Moses came down from the mountain to the people and warned them to stay pure, and they washed their clothes. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lanu Torah temet V'chaye olam nita betochenu Baruch atah Adonai Noten ha-Torah Amen For our third Aliyah, we'd like to call up David's teachers, Cecilia Danziger, Linda Kiles, and Rachel Van Rolp. Nala Amod, Hamorim Laliyah HaTorah. Baruch Anai Hamvarach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamarach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim Menaz Talanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Vayomer el ha'am hayu nechonim lishloshet yamim al tigshu el ishar vayehi bayom hashishi b'hiot haboker vayehi kulot uvrakim ve'anan kavin al ha'har the co shofar chazak meod vayecherad ko ha 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 am asher ba machane vayotzer moshe et ha am likrat halohim min ha machane vayutiyat vu betakti ha ha. And he said to the people, Be ready for the third day, the men among. You should, should not go near a woman. On the third day, as morning dawned, there was thunder and lightning and a dense cloud upon the mountain and a very loud blast of the horn, and all the people who were in the camp trembled. Moses led the people out of the camp toward God, and they took their places at the foot of the mountain. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, v'kai olam nata betocheinu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. For our next Aliyah, we call up David's very proud parents, Tim and Sarah Redondo. Nala Amod, Sarah Betim Laliyah HaTorah. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Anai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch atah Ruach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim V'na'atan Lanu Et Torato Baruch atah Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen V'har Sinai Asha'an Kula V'vnei Asher Yarad Alav Anai Ba'ish Vayal Ashano Keshen Hakishan 
Vayekharan Kohahar Me'od Vayhi Kohashofar Cholech Vechazek Me'od Moshe Yedaber Vaha Elohim Ya'ananu Fekol Vayered Vayered Ananai Al Har Sinai El Rosh Har Vayika Adonai Le Moshe El Rosh Har Vayal Moshe Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Raid Ha Eid Ba'am Pen Yechersu El Adonai Lir Ot Venafal Mi Menu Rav Now Mount Sani was all in smoke, for the Eternal had come down upon it in fire. The smoke rose like the smoke of a kiln, and the smoke and the whole mountain trembled violently. The blare of the horn grew louder and louder as Moses spoke. God answered with him in thunder. The Eternal came down upon Mount Sinai um, on the top of the mountain, and the Eternal One called Moses to the top of the mountain and Moses went up. The Eternal One said to Moses, Go down, warn the people not to break through to the Eternal to gaze, lest many of them will perish. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Demet Bechaye Olam Nata Betochenu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. For our fifth and final Aliyah, we have the pleasure of calling up David himself. By nature of taking on this Aliyah, he takes his place in our community as a Bar Mitzvah. Nala Amod, Nala Amod, Nala Amod, Ha Bar Mitzvah. David Beit Sarah Beitim, Laliyah HaTorah. Baruch Hu Et Arnai HaVorach. Baruch Arnai HaVorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Arnai HaVorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Ata Arnai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bahar Banu Miko Hamim. V'natan Lanu Et Torto. Baruch Ata Arnai. No tain HaTorah. Amen. Vegam HaKohanim HaNigashim El Adonai Itkadashu Pen Yifrotz Bahem Adonai Vayom Er Moshe El Adonai Lo Yucha Ha'am La'alot Al Har Sinai Ki Ata Ha idol ta banu le mor hagbel et ha har veki dash to vayom er ilav adonai lech reid ve elita ata ve acharon imach ve ha kohani ve ha am al yechesu la lot el adonai peni fats ban vayirid moshe el ha am Vayomer Alehem. The priests also who come near the Eternal must stay pure, lest God, lest the Eternal break out against them. But Moses said to the Eternal, "The people cannot come up to Mount Sinai, for you warned them. You warned us, saying, set bounds about the mountain and sanctify it.' So the Eternal said to him, "Go down and come back." together with Aaron, but let not the priests or the people break through to come up to the eternal, lest God break out against them. And Moses went down to the people and spoke to them. Baruch ata anai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lanu torat emet v'haye olam natan betokeinu baruch ata anai no tain hatorah. Amen. Amen. Remember, we practiced that word yashakalach after such a fantastic reading. I want to invite us together to offer those words. Let's say it together. Yashakalach. Well done, David. Well done. 
We continue now with the lifting and dressing of our Torah. I'd like to invite the congregation to please rise in body or in spirit. Are you ready? All right, straight up. seated. Well, just as we have asked our students to teach us from the beginning of our Bible, the Torah, so too do we ask, us, ask them to teach us from the other texts as well. And so David will be reading his Haftorah this morning for each of us as well. Yeah. But Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Ve'im Tovim Ve'ratza Bedivrechem Hanemarim Be'emet Baruch Ata Adonai Chalacher Batara of Moshe of Do, of Yisrael Amo, Vin Vie Harmet Vatsedek. Hashmin Lev Ham Hazen, Ve Old Nav Hach Bed, Ve Enav Hasha, Penyer E Be Uvoz nav yishma, uvavo yavain, vashav verafalo, vaomar admatai adonai, vayomer ad asher im shauarim. May a Yoshev Uva team, may a Adam, the Hadama Tisha Eshema, the Rehab Adonai at Ha Adam, the Rabaha Azuva, the care of Ha Aret, the Odba Asiriam. Vishava Vahita Lever Chaila Vichala Asher Bishalechet Matsevet Bam Zera Kodesh Matsavta. And then for the English. Dull this people's mind, stop its ears and cloud its eyes, or it may see with its eyes, hear with its ears, and understand with its mind, and return to me and be healed. My liege said I, how long? And God said, till cities are desolate without people, and houses are empty, and land is an utter desolation. For the eternal will drive the people far away, and many places in the land shall be abandoned. And even when a tenth of the people is left, it shall be burned off like an oak or a terebinth, cut down yet leaving a stump, a stump that shall be a holy seed. Ba- 
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sor Kohamim Sadik Pocho Harot HaEl HaNeeman HaMer Vase HaMedeber Umkayim Shekol Devarav Emet Vatsedek Al Hatara Ve Al Havada Ve Al Hanviim Ve Al Yom HaShabbat Hazed Shena Tantan Lanu Adonai Eloheinu Lik Dushav Limucha Lechavod Ulti Faret Al Hako Adonai Eloheinu Anach Nu Modim Lach Umevarchim Otach Yit Varchim Chavifiko Hai Tommy Lelamba Ed Baruch Hata Adonai Mekhadesh Hashabar Yashar Koach, Yashar Koach. Well, we continue now with uh, the returning of our Torah to our Ark, and so I'd like to invite up uh, uh, David's brother, Benny, uh, as well as Michael Reinhardt, William Reinhardt, and Allison Reinhardt, uh, David's cousins, the rest of the congregation I'd like to invite to please rise in body or in spirit. Please be seated. Well, just as we have asked our B'nai Mitzvah and Batot Mitzvah to teach us uh, using the actual words that are set in our Torah, so too have we asked them to teach us what these words mean to them so that these words might stay alive in each of our hearts. We have the pleasure this morning of learning with David. Okay. So when I first heard I was going to do my Devar Torah, I had no clue what to do. I was like so hurt. But once I got on track, I had many questions. That's what I will talk about today. What you're about to hear will, uh, might change the way you think about God. Sometimes I question God and wonder if God is even real. When I question if God is real, it's like a Rubik's Cube, basically an ever-changing one. It can't be finished, but it also can't be, there's like infinite possibilities. My portion talks about God and God's wills, but it also shows the wisdom of our elders. The name of my Torah portion is Yitro or Jethro. It's when Moses talks to his father-in-law and God. It starts out with Moses' father-in-law talking to him and telling him he should stop what he's doing and take a break. Then Moses refuses to do it and says why he should. His father-in-law tells him to take a break again, and this time he does. He comes to the senses. Um, once he takes a break, he goes up to Mount Sinai to talk to God. When, then God and Moses have this long conversation. <laughs> Moses is tasked with telling the people or informing them that they will get the Ten Commandments and other directions they need in order to appear in front of God. The day of the Ten Commandments arrives, they have a lot of chaos, and Moses goes up to God and they get the Ten Commandments. On to our next topic. Why do the people of Israel need rules? Like, why do we even need rules? Um, if we had not listened to God's directions, we could have discovered something new. On the other hand, teachers often help me and give me directions about a subject that I am new to or curious about. When I discover 
information on my own, I can also discover new things and learn from my mistakes. This is similar to how the Israelites were. The Israelites were newly freed slaves. They did not know a lot about the wider world they, because they had been slaves. They did not know how to make free choices. They needed rules. So when they were free, God, through Moses, presented the Jews with rules. He, here's an example. Kids are given rules by their parents and other authority figures. These rules keep each other safe and in line. However, kids also need room to make discoveries on their own. Sometimes those discoveries can lead to great things. Over time, Jews have created new ways to follow these rules, but also have interpreted them differently. This is caused according to time, place, and need. God is showing the people in Moses how hard they will have to work in order to follow his rules and survive. Um, showing Moses how hard he will have to work to lead the people. But um, his father-in-law thinks he should take a break saying, The thing you are doing is not right. You will surely wear yourself out and the people as well. Yitro chapter 18, 17, verse 17 and 18. Moses' father-in-law gives him advice instead of rules. He tells him to relax and take a break. The responsibility is wearing Moses out as opposed to the tighter instructive grip of the Ten Commandments. So, like, you got to follow those all the time. Moses is right in the center of power. On one hand, uh, the people's commandments are important, and he has to help them and he's responsible for holding out together. But on the other hand, um, his father-in-law starts off the portion with a different perspective, telling Moses that he needs to relax and take time for himself. Moses and the Israelites needed some time to loosen up. Finally, is God real or not? That is the question. Such as, we have had COVID, but what has God done? Like, come on. Um... Uh, over time, beliefs change as people have more experiences. Maya Safta says that uh, at certain times she has thought differently about God, but that's what she thinks. Um, and then uh, when I was talking with the rabbi, we had cut into this deep discussion about miracles. I said that I would not believe it was a miracle if there was science to back it up. Maybe God is in science or God and science are the same. Now I realize everything's like a Rubik's Cube. We just have to keep thinking about it and questioning it. That's what Torah study is. Sorry. I hope now that you guys can learn that Torah study involves asking questions, but there can also be many answers. I would like to thank my mom for helping me set this up and keeping me on track. My dad for being by my side through tough times. Benjamin for not bothering me too much while I was doing my Torah. <laughs> my friends, my teachers, Cantor Cooper for teaching me about my Torah portion. Rabbi Fox for helping me with the many questions I had. My software for helping me with all the Torah, even though I really don't want to do it most of the time. Um, my Zeta, my grandma and grandpa for being the best grandparents I could have. And then also my teacher that was here, but I think you got. So... David, Yashar Koach. You know, I'm, I'm holding on to this, this image of taking the Torah and, and kind of moving it around like a Rubik's Cube. In fact, the, the Pirkei Avot uh, says, if I can remember correctly, um, that we take the Torah and we turn it and turn it. It says, because you'll find everything in it. But I think at the same time, it is a little bit like a Rubik's Cube right? That it's constantly changing and constantly growing. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing Torah portion this week, and you got to read from this Torah portion that is fascinating, right? In the beginning, it talks about uh, Yitro talking to Moses, and then there's some stuff that happens, right? Yeah, right, as you told stuff. us, right? Some, some other whatever, stuff. right? It's not that big. And then we get to this moment of Moses at Mount Sinai, right? And it's, it's, it's actually, I mean, it is kind of a big deal, right? I mean, it's incredible, right? There's this awesome thing that happens with that particular moment. David, that moment has captured the imagination of our community for generations and generations. 
And there's all kinds of stories that we've told about that moment. And there's a kind of peculiar midrash that I want to tell you about. Um, if, uh, if, can, I, can I tell you about that story? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So it's very rare that our Torah would talk about anything godlike in physical terms. In fact, there's a section of the Bible where Ezekiel talks about this vision of holiness that he sees, and he offers all of these descriptions, and it's bizarre. So bizarre, in fact, that we only usually study it in the middle of the night on Shavuot. This is just wild text, right? So all the more so, it's peculiar that in the rabbinic literature, they would describe in one of the many, many different interpretations of receiving the Torah at Mount Sinai one of the many different interpretations, this idea of a statue at the top of Mount Sinai. It's very peculiar, right? It's strange that, that in the Torah, it would describe a physical thing because we always say God doesn't have a body, we don't see God in any particular way. In fact, so much so that the early Israelites didn't literally draw pictures. That's how, that's how much they wanted to make sure that they wouldn't accidentally create an image. But nevertheless... This Midrash imagines an image of God or an image of Mount Sinai or an image of Revelation as a statue. And the peculiar thing that happens for this is that the statue is facing each person in a different way, right? In fact, it goes so far as to say that not only was everyone that was a part of our community then, everyone who ever has been a part of our community, anyone and everyone who, has, who will ever be a part of our community was standing at Mount Sinai, but that that statue had a different face for each and every person in it. Now, David, I think that you love learning Torah. It was a lot of fun to sit and kind of look at this and go, God, what does that say? And what, why does this text say that? And you brought in all these incredible questions. We wondered together, right? And I think, one of the most profound ways to learn Torah is actually not even from each of us individually, but to turn to the people around us and to hear how they see Torah. And so, David, I, I want to invite you to take a second and look and see the people who are here with you. Each and every person in this room has a different thing to teach you about Torah, a different thing to teach me as well. Each one of us see that revelation in a different way. And I think that you see that and you understand that deeply as well. And I'm thinking of two very particular examples. One is seeing, actually three. One is seeing you with our seniors. Helping out our seniors and knowing that that is another voice of Torah, another way that our Torah tells us to act and another way to learn about what this tradition and this Torah has to say to us. You volunteered with our seniors at the JCC. A whole nother way that I've seen you see that other face of Torah is with our toddlers. Just in that room over there. Do you remember running around with them? Handing out maracas, right? That's another face of Torah. And finally, you sitting just outside of our sanctuary with Jay and being that face of Torah, that face of our community, welcoming in everyone to our community and showing them the beautiful face that radiates and shines from you as well. And so, David, thank you. Thank you for learning. Thank you for wondering. Thank you for seeing the many faces of Torah here and in our community and thank you for being a bright face of that Torah as well. Mazel tov. I'd like to invite Sarah and Tim up to offer their words of blessing to you this morning. Do I get a hug? I want to take a minute to thank everybody who is in here. Everyone's here per, in person, everyone who is here virtually. Thank you for taking the time to celebrate with us. And thank you for all the support 
along the way. So thank you, and thank you, David, <laughs> for working really hard. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. All right, just checking. David, when you were born, I wanted nothing more than for you to be just surrounded by people who would accept you for exactly who you are. And here we are now. We're really lucky to have found all these people to, yes, for you, to be here for you, and to have found such a supportive Crazy. Jewish community. Crazy. We are really lucky to have an amazing group of family and friends who are here for you and see you exactly as you are. David, I'm always amazed by you, really. You are always open to new things, ready to meet new people, and up for a challenge. Whether it is starting a new school in the middle of elementary school, beginning another extracurricular activity, or finding more and more new music and new artists. You are always ready to meet people and try new things. You are always choosing another interesting elective or have another concept from school or from Hebrew school that you really, really need to share with us right this second. And in addition to everything else, bar mitzvah prep, martial arts, school, swimming, you decide not only to join a club, but start your own because you just didn't see any that fit. <laughs> While there is an easygoing, flexible, open-minded David, you also know who you are and you know what's important. You have little patience for people that try to convince you otherwise. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> you know where your line is and you refuse to cross it. Even when writing your bar mitzvah speech, I had thoughts, your grandma had thoughts, people had thoughts, and maybe even suggestions, and you wanted none of it. You knew from exactly the moment when we looked at the abortion what your questions were and what you wanted to say. The suggestions were nice, but no thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. So, David, I just wanted to say, I love you. Keep being you. Keep being awesome. Stay curious and flexible and open-minded, and don't forget who you are. I love you, and I can't wait to see what's next. Okay, ready to hug? Because I really embarrass you. You know that, right? Okay, just checking. It's part of my job. Um, <laughs> so I was actually going to wing it. You know, I, I wasn't quite sure what to say, but then Sarah wrote this speech, and I figured I figured I should write something down. So um, let me start off by saying that I'm old now because of Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty, I was pretty, you know, alive and real. But now I'm old. No, it's and not him. It's because of that guy. <laughs> I, I have, I have gray, gray hair because, because of him. Um, I remember taking it, bringing him home to the hospital and thinking, these people are driving too fast. So that started giving me gray hair. <laughs> when he started eating and I was afraid he was going to choke because he was still a baby, that gave me gray hair. <laughs> When he started walking and bumping into things, more gray hair. So as you can see, I have a theme with gray hair. Um, we, we went, when we bought a house in the middle of the school year, it, you know, we transferred to school, so it, it, um, gave, it got me older with more gray hair. Um, so you learn to adapt, um, which is odd. Uh, because I don't adapt that well. Um, but all these things made you who you are. Um, you are brave and daring. You handle everything much better than I would. That's I want to let you know that I will continue having gray hair because of you, because I know yeah. you have driving and I stuff okay. to come. So. That, that'll be <laughs> but, but knowing that you're turning into a great man makes it easier to handle. Uh, one day you mentioned to me that you were making a, an email, and your email is Awesome Redondo. Um, is that right? Awesome yeah. Redondo? Okay, Awesome Redondo. So um, I thought that was kind of funny, but all I wanted to say is that you are an Awesome Redondo and, and keep being you, and I appreciate that. That's sweet. Okay? Considered. Thank you. Okay, that's it.
We want to now offer our entire community the opportunity to give a blessing to David on this day. And so I'd like to invite us to turn to page 262. Page 262, you'll find the words of our blessing at the very bottom of that page. Let's offer our blessing together. Our hearts are one on this joyous day. As you commit yourself to a life of Torah, a life we pray filled with wisdom, caring, and right action, we pray that you will grow each day in compassion for the needy, in concern for the stranger, in love of all people. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob and Rachel and Leah, bless you on your becoming a bar mitzvah. May you grow with strength and courage, with vision and sensitivity, and may you be always certain of our love. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. We continue now with a blessing in front of the ark. Well, in our Torah, we are given a set of words that are meant to be a blessing for sacred occasions, offered generation to generation in moments such as this. And so today, David, these words are for you. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face be turned toward you in graciousness. May God always watch over you and may you be blessed with the greatest of gifts, that gift of peace. I invite us all together to say, Amen. Amen, amen. And just as we come to a moment such as this, we offer our words of Sheikh Yanu. And so I want to invite us to offer these words together as one, offering thanks for being brought to this moment together as one. Let's sing. Baruch Eloheinu melech haolam. Shehechianu vikimanu vihigianu lazman hazeh. Ah, 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 amen. <laughs> we now continue with the words of Alenu. We can find these words on the bottom of page 282. Page 282, I'd like to invite us to please rise in body or in spirit. Alenu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol L'atet gedula l'yotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu ke goye ha aratzot, velo samanu ke mishpechot ha adama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegor alenu ke chol hamonam, baanachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech. Please be seated. Well, 
our thoughts now turn to those in our community who have died in this season or in recent days. So together, our hearts go out to those, especially on the minds of David and his family, whose presence is a part of this day. Together we remember Rebecca Feeler, Rivka, Bat, uh, Michael, the Devorah, Jeff Millet, and Dorothy Feeler, Devorah Chaya. If you're joining us online, I invite you to share the names of those that you are thinking of in the chat at this time. And together, as one, our hearts go out to those in our community who have died in the last 30 days and those near to them. And so as we remember Franklin Rayer, our hearts go out to Jay and Beth and Scott, Miriam and Leah. Additionally, we remember B. Aaron. And our hearts go out to those near to Paul Kitzner. Our hearts go out to Joel and Rana. And our hearts go out to those near to Jacob Epstein. Our hearts go out to Howard and Nancy and Nina. In the Shabbat, we also mark the yard site, the anniversary of the death of Ayanna Albert, Roberta Bernstein, Martin Blyas, Lee Brzezinski, Cheryl Iser. Clara Endelman, Harold Epstein, Ruth Felsenthal, Jack Lance, Alan Goldberg, George Hancock, Gitta Hoffman, Benjamin Hull, Charles Joffe, Annette Kaiser, Betsy Karanek, uh, Kenarek, Manuel Kaplan, Dora Katz, Larry Lieberman, Francis Megdahl, Lorraine Merrick, Audrey Miller, Sarah Miller, Michael Musikin, Abel Nagee, Maurice Polak, Milton Riskin, Joseph Ross, Morris Ross, Joseph Seifer, Judy Seinfeld, Alan Singer, Stephen Solomon, Jerry Stuhlbard, Mildred Tillman, Mary Van Ralt, and Lori Zellick. If you are thinking of someone in particular this Shabbat and you'd like to share their name aloud so that we can all hold that person and you in our hearts, I invite you to do so as my eyes meet yours. I'd now like to invite all of us to turn together to the page 294 to offer the words of Mourner's Cottage together as one. Please rise in body or in spirit. Itkadal, itkadash, shemeraba, yalma, divrach, ute, yalm, lich, malchite, v'chaye chon, v'yome chon, v'chaye dechol beit Yisrael, v'agala, v'izman kari, v'imru, amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevorach Leolam Omeel Maya, Eat Barach, Eat Tabach, Eat Paar, Eat Ramam, Eat Nase, Eat Tadar, Eat Alev, Eat Alal Shme de Kudisha, Berichu, Le Ela Min Kol Birchata Vishirata, Tushbachata Benechamata, Damiran Bielma, Bimru, Amen, Yehe Shlam Rabba Minchamaya, Bechaim Alinu Velko Israel, Bimru, Amen, Ose Shalom Mimramav, Huya Se Shalom. Alina Vel Koyas Rael, Al Koyas Retevel, Bemru Amen. Sikronam Libracha, may the memories of those near to us always be a source of blessing. I invite us together to say, Amen. Right now, I'd like to invite up a member of our board of directors, Karen Ben Shmuel, to offer some gifts this morning. The rest of the congregation, please be seated. Mr. Redondo. There we go. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. 
David, what a joyful and fantastic service. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you have such a confidence and a sweetness to you. I say confidence. Everyone heard how well he chanted Torah today and how well you did your prayers. It was wonderful. When we talked, you told me that when you were first looking at your Torah portion, you knew exactly the part that spoke to you and that you wanted to focus on. That's confidence. You really know what you want to do. And also, I've never seen a B'nai Mitzvah lift the Torah. It's usually a big, grown adult. So that was really, really awesome to see. I love that. I love how enthusiastic you are about learning. You also have such a sweetness to you. You were saying how excited you were to celebrate with all of your grandparents and people from out of state. He said he had a lot of people coming. You said you were so excited. And it was so sweet how you helped your cousins and your brother open the door here, which I know are very heavy. But you have such a kindness to you. Um, and hearing about how you work with seniors and the little ones at the JCC, which incidentally is where I met your beautiful family for the first time. So it's been such a pleasure watching you grow up, and you were fantastic today. I hope you're very proud of yourself, as you mm -hmm. should be. On behalf of the board, I do have some gifts for you. We have from the sisterhood and the men's group a Kiddush cup and Shabbat candles, so you can continue celebrating on Fridays and Saturdays in your home. We also have a beautiful book. It's called On the Doorposts of Your House. And it's not just prayers for services, it's also for things throughout your day or week or life. Um, so it's, it really will come in handy just to peruse through and, and see what speaks to you. And also we have a gift certificate from the Union for Reform Judaism. It's for travel Israel, summer or semester. So I hope that you and your family are able to experience Israel someday and, and uh, I know that I'll really speak to you as well. So Mazel Tov, Yashar Koach, you are fantastic. So proud of you. Mazel Thank you, Karen, and Mazel Tov. So we have a closing song that we'd like to sing together. I'd like to invite your family back up as we sing together. <laughs> thank, thank you. I was just about to. <laughs> so we have a particular uh, song. Uh, if you'd like, it's in the prayer book. I believe it's three, page 353. And um, it, uh, it has the words, uh, may, we see, uh, may we see the world come to a place of peace and soon. These words were written by a band by the name of Sheva. It's a band that is made up of both Israelis and Palestinians working together to provide a vision for what peace can look like in the Middle East. And hopefully that is an invitation for each and every one of us as Shabbat is meant to be a little taste of what peace looks like in a world that is at rest, at peace. And so together, we see that vision uh, when, we, when we gather together for Shabbat, a little taste of what a beautiful and perfect world might look like. Let's sing together. <laughs> We'll continue our celebration just outside with our Kiddush and Motzi, Mazel Tov, and Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. You're not next. Come on. Congratulations. Thank you. That one's so fast. That one's quick. Yeah, it's really quick. My legs hurt, though. Oh, yeah, for moving around a little bit? It's the blue. Just like that. It's Yeah. I got it. Congratulations.